Welcome everyone, thank you for joining us. Whether you're new here or you watch part one, I'm thrilled to share another collection of incredible internet moments that I believe you'll truly enjoy. I've dedicated a lot of time to researching and editing these stories to bring you the very best. So please stay with us until the very end. I promise you won't want to miss what's coming up. Your support means a lot to me, and I truly appreciate you staying until the end of this video. Let's pick up from where we left off in the previous video, which was part one. And if you're new, let, let me explain. explain. You see, what happened last time is that we laid waste, or rather, I decided to kill some of the most questionable viral topics on our planet today, and on the internet in general. Basically, I was getting rid of characters that plagued our screens in part one, like the Hawk Tour girl. But like everyone who watched the video remembers, the chaos didn't end there. None of my friends and new comrades. At the end of the previous video, I was shocked to realize that there were more of them. Jesus Christ. Today we're diving deep into putting an end to the whirlwind that is this foul dog that came at the end of part one. This band of viral misfits that make no bloody sense at all. All right, let's get to the heart of this chaos. So, as you can imagine, the very first thing I did after that last video when my laptop started shaking was rush back to my lair and seek out the legend himself, Mr. Beast, the biggest YouTuber on the planet, who, as you can remember, I had chained earlier in part one. I asked him, what on earth is going on with these endless viral dogmen and this rock star, and how is Charlie still alive? But, unsurprisingly, he didn't have a solid answer. I couldn't take him out, though. After all, he still creates some decent content, and as you can see, he had clearly gone bonkers saying, I killed Carl, which, in all honesty, did I? Next, I turn to Isaac Verse, who I had also chained, hoping for a much clearer view and insight into the absurd characters I'd missed when I was researching about these people the first time. And after a thorough investigation from Isaac Verse's brilliant mind, and mine of course, I was struck by the realization that it was just the beginning. How could I have overlooked these viral oddities? They're out there, lurking, ready to pounce at any moment. And I started to realize that there are actually thousands and hundreds of them. I had just scratched the surface of part one. Each connection revealed a new layer of bloody internet insanity. Every meme, every viral moment, every name, every person, it all pointed out to something larger, something bigger than even DCEU's tremendous failure. And as per the investigation I did, I decided we'll pull back the curtain on the whimsical antics of bloody rock star Logan and the eerie vibes of whatever this creature is and more of whatever all of them are, because what the hell are each one of them anyway? Nothing will escape my keen eye this time. I will eradicate them all. This internet goddamn makes no sense and it needs correction. Everything should be perfectly balanced. These characters thrive on chaos, and it's my mission. No, it is my purpose to send them all into the afterlife. I don't know why the algorithm god leaves me all this mess to clean up. Who knew the landscape of internet absurdity had so many layers? Prepare yourself, internet. I'm set to shine a pistol spotlight on every last ridiculous viral character. The internet won't get away with promoting nonsense instead of intelligence without me being in the know. First up, we've got the one and only I show speed. This guy has absolutely taken the streaming world by storm with his chaotic energy and... Wait for it. Yes, you heard that right. Barking. Who knew that channeling your inner dog would earn you millions of followers? Is this what we've come to? We're worshipping a dude who acts like a hyperactive puppy. I mean, what's next? Are we going to see humans promoting the art of howling at the moon? The world has officially gone bonkers. But hey, if barking gets you millions, I'm game. Let's see if I can outbark him in a little competition, because why not embrace the madness? All right, Speed, let's see who's the top dog. Jesus Christ, is that a dog or a distressed cat? You guys decide in the comments. I need to get rid of this abomination. I can't believe I just witnessed that. It's like you were designed by a committee of blindfolded monkeys that gave you a dog's DNA. At a point, I thought I'd have to call an exorcist to get rid of whatever that was and a therapist to make me forget. Next we have Lanky Box, the kings of kid-friendly chaos. They've turned simple animations and silly humor into pure gold. It's like they've unlocked the secret to happiness. I challenge them to create an episode about Laundry Day because nothing screams fun and viral like folding socks, right? And trust me, 
If they made a video about folding socks, it would go viral just the same way my sanity is about to go looking at their most popular video. I mean, look at this. At 57 million views, my God. For, yeah, if I keep going on about these guys, I think my mind will leave me. Literally get out and walk away. It's all a bit absurd, isn't it? What's next? A documentary on Iron Man. Sorry for that bloodbath, guys. It's just, I couldn't wait anymore. They just pissed me off. Now let's dive into the infamous Honey Badger. This little legend became a viral sensation for one audacious line. Honey Badger don't care. But seriously, how does a creature so small and scrappy earn such an iconic status? Fearless and fearless. The Honey Badger is known for attacking enemies much larger than itself, like it's got a personal vendetta against all logic. Just look at him. He's as lost as a squirrel in a high rise. Did you know that this little guy can summon the courage to tackle enormous foes like lions or even that ridiculous Charlie bit my finger kid? Now that's a showdown I'd pay to see, but back to the quiz. Yes, a quiz. Let's find out if the honey badger can answer the question on how he became a viral sensation, because I myself can't answer it. Honey badger, any answer? Is the honey badger going to take home the victory? Or will we just crown him the reigning monster? of delusion on who's the prey and who is the hunter. There you have it folks, the king of chaos can take on a snake but can't figure out how he became a floss throughout the world. Who knew internet fame could be this bewildering? Finally, it's like a bad dream that you I can't believe you would grace the internet once, thank you. Everything, we won't see you again. Ah, the duck song! A quacking masterpiece that somehow became an internet anthem with 600 million views. The duck in the video technically asks for grapes for the entire video while singing. I mean, we got better animation and better music with more powerful messages all over the internet. And this bloody duck, you know what? I'm starting to think the internet is trying to end civilization itself. What is wrong with this YouTube algorithm? How about we host a taste test? The duck versus a grape. Spoiler alert, the grape wins every time. the ultimate pit where I put the YouTuber out of basic and the TikToker Bella Porsche. Bloody disgusting. I can't believe it. Consider good content. What is wrong with this planet? And how about Shoe Nice? Eating the unthinkable for views. There's a fine line between brave and bonkers and I'm pretty sure he's dancing on it. Let's host a cooking show where he has to create gourmet meals out of socks. Imagine the culinary delight. In all honesty, I sincerely thank everything that he hasn't gone super viral because I would be dancing on the line of bonkers too, trying to figure out how the world likes to watch someone eating a bloody shoe. And I remember as I was doing research and playing detective throughout the internet, I couldn't believe this guy yes. existed. Nice. I mean, why do this? I mean, what is he even doing and why? What is, let me just get rid of this guy before I stay here forever trying to answer the unanswerable. That, chart, that chart's a couple of months old. Good riddance. I didn't think anything could be this repulsive. Seriously, how did you even get here? How are you even still on the internet? And now for the grand finale. We're about to plunge into the depths of internet absurdity, a realm where the bizarre meets the beautiful, where sensations thrive, sensations that are both insane and utterly depraved. The character that defies logic, uh, it's one that makes perfect sense and no sense at all, all at the same time. Are you prepared? Think again! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one, the only, Salad Fingers. I couldn't hold back and talk any longer. This, 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 whatever it is, had to be terminated as fast as possible with efficiency, exceptional speed and execution. Bloody abomination. If you want to search about him, do it at your own risk after this video. I warn you, my God, a bloody internet disaster, this creature. Only God can help the internet with this character. And then we have the Paul brothers, always pushing the limits of entertainment. Oops, my bad, I didn't mean to show that era. That was the wrong place. Sorry, ah, uh, ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the throwing plates and bloody planet devastating music. Lord help us, this is basically what every white kid probably used to watch back in the day. A bloody maverick that looked like he actually wanted to be a rock star and a lost kid who had no reasoning in his head. It was almost like there was nothing up there for this guy but an empty head with gasoline waiting for a spark so that he can do something else that's absurd. I mean, just look at the content he was producing. 
I honestly don't know how people tolerated their chaos. Thank God KSI and Deji put them towards the right path in life when he called them out. Let's put them in a reality show called Viral Survival, where they must live without the internet. Will they survive? I think not, especially their past selves, which is who we are focusing on. Kindly never go back to whatever both of you were. Let me just help both of you make it permanent. Thank God. Whatever these creatures were, it's better they stay this way. I must say, I am happy of what they are now. Really inspiring stuff, I must say. And now, let's talk about a viral gem that embodies pure absurdity, the crying Kim Kardashian meme. Who would have thought that a simple moment of emotion could lead to such internet infamy? It all began during an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, when Kim had a truly relatable breakdown. Emotional vulnerability? Check. But what happened next was downright hilarious. Suddenly her tears became a canvas for the internet's creativity. It's like everyone decided they needed a piece of Kim's emotional turmoil to express their own frustrations. From when you realize it's Monday to when you remember you forgot your lunch, this meme took on a life of its own. It literally turned into a beating heart. It's mind-boggling. A single frame of Kim's perfectly contoured face, adorned with glistening tears, became the go-to expression for every minor inconvenience. Seriously, how did we get here? This wasn't just a cry for help. It was a clarion call for meme makers everywhere. And just like that, we have the crying Kim Kardashian meme, a symbol of our shared struggles wrapped in a glossy filter. It makes absolutely no sense that her moment of despair turned into comedic gold, yet here we are using her tears to articulate our most mundane frustrations. So, dear viewers, let's celebrate the randomness of the internet. Who knew that Kim's moment of vulnerability could become the ultimate meme? It's a beautiful reminder that in this wild digital landscape, even tears can turn into laughter. And there you have it, folks. From the absurdity of the crying Kim Kardashian meme to the wild world of internet sensations, we've journeyed through the delightful chaos that binds us all. But you know what? Beneath the laughter and the memes, there's something beautiful about how these moments connect us. They remind us that no matter how silly or serious, we all share the ups and downs of life. So, as we wrap up this roller coaster of internet insanity, I invite you to reflect on your own moments, those times when you laughed, cried, or just didn't know what to say. After all, it's these experiences that weave the tapestry of our lives. And who knows what viral madness awaits us next. So if you enjoyed this wild ride, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Until then, keep laughing, keep sharing, and remember, the internet is a strange, wonderful place. See you in the next video. Well, well, look at this. The internet is finally a bit more clean. Wait, what is this? Charlie, Charlie, how the hell are you still alive? Didn't I murder you in the first video or did I miss because I can't kill a child? Wait, wait, Charlie, who the hell is that behind you? Oh my God, is it that the algorithm God? Are you here to save me after all these years and hours and time or are you just bloody here for two seconds again, huh? Look at you, you bloody, let me show you. Who do you bloody think you are, huh? Wait, have you brought me someone? Who is this? Let me just take a look at this. Bloody hell, impossible. Thank you.